God bless you viewers. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your household. Thank you for watching. Welcome to All You Need Is The World with Pastor Abraham Moses. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for my viewers that are watching now. King of glory, do beyond their expectation. Meet them at the point of their need. Let them not be put to shame. Let there be answers to their prayer. Thank you, Father, for doing it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I will talking on take your mind off your challenges. You are focused too much on that challenge. Take your mind off it. Focus on God. Don't see the obstacle. Look at the miracle. It is miracle that supersede obstacle. The Bible says about Jesus, if for the joy set before him, enjoy the cross. The cross was the obstacle, but the miracle was the joy set before him. If for the joy is set before him, endure the cross, despising the shame. You know what? If for the joy set before him, endure the obstacle. If he was able to overcome that obstacle. And God has highly exalted him above every other name. And at the name of Jesus, every name was vowed. Welcome, viewer, once again to All You Need Is The World. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Search for Abraham Moses Bishop on YouTube. By the right hand side, click on the subscription button to subscribe. Invite your friends also to subscribe. God will do greater things in the name of Jesus Christ. You can also follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram as well. Search for the same Abraham Moses Bishop on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. I have a page on Facebook also. It is called the same Abraham Moses Bishop. I also have a group on Facebook. It is called All You Need Is The World. The solution to your problem is in the word of God. I am still talking about take your mind off your challenges. No matter the challenges that you are facing now, take your mind off it. My text shall be taken from 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 20. The Bible says, And as for thine house that you were lost three days ago, set not thy mind on them, for they are found, and on whom is all the desires of Israel, is not on thee, and on all thy father's house. Saul's father's house to us was missing. He was looking for his father's house, not knowing that God has ordained him to be a king. Hear me? Take your mind off your challenges. Focus on the glory. God is going to do something great in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who you run to in the time of problem determine the solution. Who you run to in terms of your problem matters a lot. When Saul has a problem, he will so the servant. He said, is there no man of God that we can go to? And they said, there is a man by name Saul, a Samuel. And they went to seek him. And he said, what do we have? He said, I have just... He came, he came to Samuel. He didn't go empty-handed, but he went with something. Hear me? Never you go before God's servant without a seed. Never you go before God's servant without anything. Never you appear before God empty. The Bible says, none shall appear before me empty. It shall be well with you. In Proverbs chapter 23 verse 5, the Bible says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Hear me, people of God. That place that God has prepared for you, you will get there in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to quickly pray for those who want to give their life to Christ. Wherever you are watching from, you want to give your life and your heart to Christ. Can you say, Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Forgive my sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The prayer is so simple, but you just gave your life to Christ. Don't go back to your sin so that something worse will not happen to you. Jesus says, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Get yourself a Bible. Look for a Bible believing church. Go to a place where God, the word of God is being preached undiluted. You can give me a call on plus 23480-283-55548. Plus 23480-283. 283-5548 plus 234-802-835548 follow me on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, search for Abraham Moses Bishop, also like my page on Facebook, Abraham Moses Bishop I have a group on Facebook, all you need is the word, it's a public group join that group, all you need is the word it's also on WhatsApp, contact me with that same number, plus 234-802-835548 hear me, you are focused too much on your problem take your mind off it, focus on God, and God will surprise you in the name of Jesus. In 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 24, the Bible said, and the cook, and the cook took up shoulder 
and that which was upon it, and set it before Saul. <laughs> and Samuel said, Behold, that which is left, set it before thee, and it, for unto this time has he been kept for thee, since I said I have invited the people. So Saul did it with, the, Sam, with Samuel that day. He was looking for his father's ass. That was the problem. But he got to a stage, he forgot it because he was before him, the man of God, the man that seek God. Said, and the man of God told him, the ass has been found. And he removed his mind from there. You hear me? Take your mind off that problem. I see you sitting with kings in high places. <laughs> Saul was sitting with the cream de la cream of the society. You hear me? That is what God can do. I don't know the challenges that you are facing now. God is going to take control. You hear me? Let me give you this testimony. Sometimes, there was a time ago, I was looking for a job. That was an obstacle. I couldn't get a job. Finally, and then I later got a call up for a job. While I got the job, I, got, I, I went for the interview. They said they are going to call me. They didn't call me. After some time, for about two weeks, they didn't call me. They called others. And I went to my father in the Lord, Pastor B. And the said to me, son, go to the altar. Tell God what you want. Tell God whoever is sitting on your position, let them unseat the person. And I said, yes, sir. And I went to that altar that Friday. We are having VG. And I told God, I said, God, whoever is sitting on my position, I unseat that person. You hear me? The second day, they came to call me. Somebody misbehaved and they removed the person. The second day they came to call me, they said, You come and resume. I have come to prophesy into somebody, whoever is sitting on your position. I remove that person now in the name of Jesus Christ. I remove that person in the name of don't focus on the challenges, rather focus on God. Philemon chapter 1, verse 14 says, But without your mind, I can do nothing. It shall be well with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. For prayer and counseling, once again, call me on plus 234-802-835-5548. It shall be well with you. Don't focus. Take your mind off that challenge. Focus on God. God bless you.